Good morning, everyone. Or evening. It's kind of hard to tell what time of day it is since the sky got clogged with all that ash and smoke. Anyways, it's starting off to be a lovely day after the snowstorms blew away. It seems we're going to have some highs of up to uh, 208 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh, wow. Better put on some sunscreen, am I right, Jim? Ah, <laughs> Jim's kind of quiet sometimes. But after these warm temperatures are out of the way, we got a small cold front coming in from what's left of, uh, it, it, excuse me? Hello? Hello? Oh, okay. Um, it appears that the cold front has expanded in size and is planning to envelop the entire northeast section of North America. <laughs> Better bundle up, New York. Now for a take from our correspondent, Drew, who's currently in LA doing the incredible lives of sea rattles over the last few days. I am screwing up my lines so bad. Drew, how is it going? <laughs> oh, Drew. Aside from the devastating effects of California sinking into the ocean, the Midwest has had a bit of a dry spell. A few forest fires have popped up stretching across the grassy plains of Oklahoma, Nebraska, and other states in the nearby area. We have Lindsay on the matter in Kansas. How's the heat up there, Lindsay? <laughs> well, that's all the time our generator can take before the next blackout. Stay tuned on what we have on the numerous earthquakes in the area. Oh, gee, guys, I haven't been this excited since the escape helicopter got destroyed by a meteor. <laughs>